Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially back. We got to play with ships again, which is always a good thing. We got the Moonshin being built, the Glowworms being built. We'll make sure the Glowworm gets built a little bit earlier so they can do their thing. The Graf Spey is being built. Well, it's like the Blue Share, it's like the Heavy Cruiser class. We'll have this being built, which leaves nothing left. Because right now we got the. Sh oh, because that was actually one of my battleships being finished up, which is nice. It's nice when a battleship gets fixed. So we have decisions to make. Mainly, I want an offensive line. And I just want you guys just to rush right over here. And obviously, if you haven't had a heifer brain, the goal is just to cut people off. Monstein. Change of plans for some oh, I didn't like this plan from the begin with. Yeah, Monstein, do you have a plan? Yeah, you have. Funders. Okay. Good. You're gonna just gonna be like the general offensive guy. Nothing exciting. Just Yeah, just like attack that way. And then most likely what's gonna be happening is that Guderian's gonna I mean, it's completely counterproductive, but Guderian will probably be doing some sort of way to sneak through that way. And I'm just assuming that there is going to be war because Hungary declared them. And if they have an ounce of honor, they will have to obey and, well... We'll have even more land, because we'll have both Austria and Hungary. And that'll be good. I mean, it kind of like looks weird. It's going to look weird geographically, but it's going to be absolutely perfect when it comes to expanding communism throughout the globe, which is my current goal. As we see here, support equipment is in positive territory. So I actually could probably just go ahead and build a motorized unit if I wanted to. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and build a motorized unit. And Thuringia, which is, doesn't make any sense, but if you're going to Thuringia. My second battleship is done. Actually, it's, no, it's not done. You're going to be done in a little bit. Korean, yeah. Oh, we just need, like, one there. Be done a day. One, two, three, four, and five. So we got, like, five ships being built at every any given time. Which is a lot of ships. Well, that just comes from a guy that doesn't know anything about ships. But. You know, if we see here, 27 subs... We have a lot of stuff being built, you know? Yes, yes, yes. A lot of stuff being built. See how Britain's doing them with their fascist thing. Hopefully they'll go to a civil war. I want them to go to civil war. Britain likes us, which is nice. Or is it? Yeah. Well, once again, we improve relations with them. And 
defense is a shame because, I mean, they're going to destroy my navy. The only way I could hope is just, uh, well, conquer enough land so we get enough dockyards so we could outbuild them eventually. And obviously, the Soviet Union are going to be our brothers, and they're going to help us out in this task, because that's what we're supposed to do. We got Sean in the icy now, it's going to be finished up, glow warm. The blue share. Blue share. Blue share. Healman. Yeah. Alright. What are we going to build next? It makes sense just to keep spamming at these damn things. You can build two of them. And there you go. Yeah. We're going to literally build them like once. So we have a lot of subs being built. We got a lot of stuff. How come these things are like... Oh, you don't have a mission set? Yeah, because there isn't a war yet. I'll give you a mission when there's a war. Until then, you know, the goal of your... thing is to like... you know... wait patiently and train until it's time for you to fight. Like, you had to fight a lot less compared to, like, army units, so just be great, be great for all your frickin' pricks. And add a unit. Let's see what not. And then build a second something, support equipment. Let's just kind of trade We'll wait for 150 so we can add something. What exactly do we have? We have Walter Funk. And we have Tailman because, well, it just makes sense to have, like... If we're going to go communist, we might as well have a guy trying to support, support us. That's the way I think of it. We have five points, but I'm just saving them up to do the anti-tanks, I think. Or we could just push this up to 20. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. It makes sense for us to be a little bit more harder compared to the motorized units anyway. There we go. You'll have to 20 combat with. You're a little bit harder compared to the motorized units, and that's absolutely fine by me. It obviously means our tanks are even worse now, 500. But you're getting tanks. You're getting a lot of tanks. A lot of tanks are being built. You have to admit, we're building a lot of tanks right now. If we look at this... These Pandra divisions, they have Pandra Confog and Vines, which is shitty, but they have a lot of tanks. And they'll have those tanks, probably know it. And soon there's just, you know, people just laugh about, like, the times in which they didn't have any tanks. Actually, now it's going to be done soon. Thinking we, what the hell should we build? Let's 
trying to figure out what show to build next, you know. Do we just go ahead and build an old glow worm? We really souped up this damn thing, but I think that's what we have to do. When it's waking. You'll be ready less than a year, which is not that bad. And right now we have two heavy cruisers. This one's just going to be done soon, which is good. I mean, it's not great, but it's better than nothing, you know. So right now we have 50 military factories, which is good. Nevertheless, we might not begin the next little step of slush recoasting to four Palmer. Depth charge done. So that's what, like, pretty much once we're done with our next thing, we'll figure out what the hell we're going to put that on. It's probably going to be, obviously, like a glowworm type 2. I think a lot of this is just confusing as hell. As you see, this is kind of like an electric torpedo, all kinds of good stuff. Schlockschiefer. Do we want to do damage control? Fire! Transport! Uh, mine warfare! Oh, yeah, that makes a little sense to, like, have some sort of damage control on my ships. Don't you think? Yeah, damage control. But once again, I just can't keep sinking all this crap into the Navy, you know? This is that. This. We might as well just begin doing our doctrines. After all, that's why we did so much freaking BM playing with the communists. So we have a bunch of ships right now with no real sort of damage controlling them, but that'll change soon enough. And I'll look up what to do to like update our old stuff. So here we are. All our troops are lined up. All our motorized troops are in the reserve just ready just to uh, attack anything that like basically sneak up onto anything that any exciting opportunities that happen, next thing you gonna know, the motorized troops are just gonna be rushing right through there. Kind of be like more of like a Soviet deep battle kind of concept. And how many? How much time until launch loose? Or basically war? Twenty-five days. And it's just going to be like a long, drawn-out campaign because, well, just to be honest, we have to. That's, of course, on let's... What else can we do here? You want anything else good? BF-109s, into war bombers. There we go. I'll give you all my strategics. All right. And actually, did I not? I didn't do that. Oh, there you are. You're deploying. Fern Kampfgeschwader. Wonder what that means. Let me look that up. Fair. Da, 
Farron. Remote. Remote control. Farron. Conf. Ranged. Farron conf means like range conf. It's like a ranged squadron or... Well, I would say we're going to be, like, attacking them from a longer range. Something like that, you know? We could do something with this. Whatever we're going to do. What should we do? I'm actually cutting down on infantry equipment a lot. Remember, we made tons of that crap all around. That's just to build more motorized once we have a chance. I mean, it wouldn't make sense just to begin stocking up on those anti tanks because that's going to be. wanting to support companies, but. Sorry about that, I just farted. Everything's being cut down, 7%, 8% still up here. Which, well, it's just 8.0 exact, on the exact. And, uh, they all have MPs now too, so they can, like, kill people easier. There we go, look at that, MPs. And you have support artillery, just in case, you know. They need it for some reason. And I think they have engineer companies. Yeah, they got an engineer. Oh, recon. No oh, goodness, we got communist music. Which is nice, you know, because it's... You need communist music. If you're going to be communist, you need to have communist music. That's what you do. Glowworm's almost done. And I really do want to find a light cruiser model. So we need to look this up. Because obviously I'm, I didn't do a really good job to scanning them at random. It will be 1936 cruiser hull. Actually, no. Oh, once again, there isn't one. Like, there was literally just cruisers. There's battleships and cruisers, and that's effing it. the difference. So what do we want to build? Why is this one so much lighter? Just because they're a lot shittier stuff. And they're not necessarily lighter. They just have low arm. We really want anti-sum warfare. And we want that. And instead of F. I mean, we had uh, low arm barrel Pretty much the barrel long is the same thing as a glow worm, except that it has better crap. I just want to see how much, like. 
and just like how much like yeah the barrel long is 1404 for I, oh and actually they just got rid of the glow worm could have just kept naming it uh glow worm there we go he'll be done in june then they could build something else So things are good. We got the Navy. I like to see these light cruisers and what model they are compared to these heavy cruisers. Even though I don't really mind having light cruisers. Point of less is type 24 class. Pepper. Leipzig class. Konigsberg. It'll be a Leipzig class. Bremse class. Emden class. Deutschland class. So we need to find a Leipzig class. Right? So that's what we'll do next. Leipzig. Or a 1936 cruiser hold D. Or Admiral Hipper. It's heavy ships. We have four of them. Two Scharnhorst, two Deutschland. And we'll just find these type six, I think. I mean, that's sad, but. Or we do this. Do I want outdated equipment? The answer is no. You think class D was it? Well, class E is a lot cheaper. And we still have a little left over. Historical light cruisers. There we go. We need a famous light cruiser. Atlantis. Well, that wasn't a cruiser, but you got it. Alright. That pretty much just robs us of everything. And this thing obviously is oh, yeah, we can't do that. But we have the Atlantis class. Which is okay. And that's gonna be fine. Yeah, and that's gonna be done sooner. And we'll have them all train in a little bit just to get naval experience back up. And I'm thinking that that would be like the best bet. And eight days until possible war. Austria, you're gonna be attacked by Hungary. And Hungary, who are your friends? No one. Which is what, what I want. And that's good. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to take over both of these things soon. Which is what I want. And so that will allow me to, well, do stuff. Obviously, we're doing a lot of emphasis over here, so it's in the beginning of the war. I actually would want to have at least some of these troops over here just doing spoiling attacks. You're down here. Actually, change of plans. That's what you're doing. I'm gonna, you don't have to hang out over in Regensburg. You're just going to be doing a front line over here. 
And you're just gonna kill anyone that looks funny at you, alright? I know they call you Snell Hands, but they're gonna be calling you like climbing hands or something like that because you're gonna be climbing over some like this isn't really like a this isn't really gonna be like a blitzkrieg war for you, buddy. You're gonna have to like climb over mountains and stuff and I understand that's not your game, but that's what you gotta do, alright? And I'll just put you over here because it's not, as, I mean, it's bad, but it's bad pretty much everywhere. Here, it's actually probably the best area over here. Now, see, I'm not having you doing any specific mission hinds because you're just going to be hanging over there. And I'm probably just stop use you manually just to attack other units and stuff like that just to get this whole thing done war is going to be happening soon everyone needs to get ready and there's going to be war and we're going to be taking over Anschluss done refuses to Anschluss that means I think we could go to war. As we see here, this is what we have. I have no choice but for the for the glories of the Soviet Union to attack. After all that's what we're good at. It'll be peace for our time. I have to re unfortunately do what we need to do. So now what should we do? I mean, I'm just thinking like at this point, it just makes sense. Do this focus on the military because well that's what we'll be doing all those are good has Hungary do yeah we have a number of five to one all right fellas we're all going to the Alpine regions it's gonna be nice I don't know if they do these automatically no, they don't. Air superiority. Yeah. Confiscator. Doing that. You're not doing anything. Good. Confiscator. Good. Confiscator. 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 Yagiscator. Yagiscator. Another Yagiscator. Who's in Flieger Group? Uh, I don't really need you. I'm going to stand by. Faringus fodder. Bomb things. You. Stuka fodder. Alpine region. And kill people. Good. They got to be with everyone. Time to start a war. And we're going to war for, to conquer Austria. Because, well, that's what we need to do. And yeah, they called in Hungary. And that's sad. But what are you supposed to do, you know? We're slowly dragging these people. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I just see no real reason, but not just uh, crush these people. You. Go. And go. There we go. Ah, tongue. Bear failure. As you see, things are not doing that well because, well, I don't know why. 
I think we'll be okay in mountains and stuff. Let's just see what's going on. Yeah, they're... As you see, they have great defense because they're in mountains. And we're doing okay, though, because we're, well, piercing some stuff. We're definitely piercing some stuff, and that's good, right? Yeah, we got this pretty much in the bag, if we don't have it done already. Yeah, go right over there, please. Obviously, I want you guys to... And this is the battle. As we see, there's like people are like fighting and dying. Which is fine. They're losing more troops than we are. Obviously, our one of our researches are done. Which is good, so my men can your support's a little bit better. We only even more ground support. Now we have all this crap. All right. Obviously, the first people to get any sort of benefits can be my infantry. Blah, 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 blah. And we could do you in 82 days. So I see why not. We could do like another this. I see wh why not. Uh, you know, we actually, we're actually running out of that. Yeah, yeah. Help out with that, please. And we're forcing them back. And that's what we need. Northwest Germany. Ah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be pausing the recording briefly. I'll be right back. Feel free to visit me on my website, evilsexdefender.com. Leave a like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be 